But to specifically answer your question, the reason I'm running uh, for House 77 is because it's a true opportunity. I am running at an open seat, and I'm running to take a message to the people of not only District 77, but to South Carolinians. I am running uh, for public education. Uh, South Carolina needs me. Students of South Carolina needs me. I'm running to come back gains here in South Carolina. And I'm also running to ensure that all South Carolina has access to affordable health care. This is a true opportunity for me to be a voice. And I'm running, and oftentimes people ask, well, why not school board? Why not county council? But it's a true opportunity for me to impact hundreds or thousands of lives in District 77. I understand that as an attorney, I can have impact on a few lives daily, but as an attorney and a House representative, I am able to impact thousands of lives. Why am I running for 77? Well, I am running because there's an attack on public education here in South Carolina. And I am the candidate who will stand up and be an unwavering voice for public education. Uh, I will oppose any legislation that would go to any voucher or any tax credit uh, system uh, because I truly believe public education in South Carolina works. It works when it is fully funded or when it is well funded. Uh, before going to law school, uh, I was in the classroom. I was a substitute teacher and I had the opportunity to go into Keenan High School. And but for my experience there, I would most likely be a teacher today. But I guess that's kind of speculating a little bit. But there was a situation to where two students were in that classroom. And it wasn't my classroom, it was another teacher's classroom. And the teacher there watched the fight escalate. Uh, as you know, two students, uh, they were going back and forth. And the argument became more heated. Uh, a few more minutes went by, arguments became or the argument became more heated. And it came to a point to where both of the students became physical with each other and involved in the to fight. Well, I ran over there and I looked at the teacher and I asked the teacher, why are you allowing the students to fight? And she looked at me and she said, well, you know, Mr. Carson, I don't get paid enough to stop kids from fighting and to risk me becoming hurt or injuring myself. But that also tells me that uh, I'm running to increase teacher pay. Uh, we need teachers who are motivated and who are happy in the classroom for when they are motivated and happy, they are motivating our students.